If you like to create engagement with your audience in an online presentation like this, but don't want to invest in a paid solution like Prezi Video, then the Logitech Capture might be the solution for you. Let me explain. The Logitech Capture software is provided for free. Its main purpose is to control your Logitech webcams. It does that pretty well, but it is also a presentation software. You can even use it without using a Logitech webcam, as I am doing right now. Download the software either for Mac or Windows, depending upon your laptop or PC. Once you install the software and launch it, you will get a window like this. On the left side of the window, we can configure up to two displays. The first display should ideally be your webcam and the second can be anything. In this case, I have set it up to display a PowerPoint. How do we configure each display? Select on the number, let's say number one, and choose the source. You can choose from one of the three sources. If you have a Logitech webcam, it will automatically detect it, or you can select your display monitor or one of the open windows. Similarly, you can select number two, and do the same thing. Once you have configured both the displays, you have an option to quickly switch between them by clicking on the number at the bottom of the screen here. You can also use the picture in picture effect by selecting this option. This will show you display one inside display two. You can flip the order with the fourth option or you can have them side by side, display one and display two or display two and display one. To apply filters and effects, select the effects option and here we can enable or disable different effects. For example, I don't want the Logitech watermark, disable it. You can type in your own text overlay. You can hide the overlay or show it. Change the font for the text or even the color, the alignment and the background. Let's go with the transparent background. Next, you can apply filters to your video and assign the filter to one of your sources or even to both of them. You can define a border for your video by increasing the border size and the color. And finally, you can select the type of transition to be used when you transition from one scene to the next. For example, once you have set up your scenes and you are in an online meeting such as Zoom, go to your video setting options by clicking on the arrow here, select video settings, and you will notice that you have a new camera called Logitech Capture. And whatever we had configured in Logitech Capture now appears as a camera in Zoom. Let's switch our video in Zoom to see how it looks to the audience. When I switch the scenes in Logitech Capture, it appears in Zoom. And this is what the audience will see as my camera. If I flip through my PowerPoint, the slides will change in Zoom. If you use this technique, there is no need to do screen sharing when you are in Zoom and you want to share some additional information other than your camera. This technique should work for other video conferencing solutions such as Microsoft Teams, WebEx, etc. I hope you found this video useful. Click subscribe if you did.